Hey guys, it's Matt Goldsman from GamersCast and PC Advice, and this time I'm going to show you guys how to make videos in 3D without needing 3D glasses. Now for this program, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Video Studio Pro X2 by Corel, but really any nonlinear editing program that isn't Windows Media Player should work. So basically, what we're going to do here, here's um, Corel Video Studio. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go up. I uh, just got to find one random video to put into 3D. Uh, here we go. Here's one. It's a video of me fighting at a karate tournament a while ago. That should be fun to put into 3D. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select it. We're going to drag it all the way down to here. We're not going to put it in the normal video track. We're going to put it in the video overlay track. And now what we do here, right-click it, just expand it out to the full window. In some programs, you might not need to deal with this, but for ULead or Corel, you do. So just expand it out to its original size. And if you're in Corel, of course, you're going to need to make a new um, overlay track for here. I'm going to set that as my default. So we're going to click OK to that. And we're going to come over here. Notice the new overlay track that appeared in the... I forget what that thing's called. But now we're going to come up here to our video, and I'm going to take it, and we're going to make it half the size. It, now, that looks about halfway, so we're going to let go, and we're going to resize it to that. Notice how it looks distorted now. Don't worry about this, because this is going to be fixed later on, so don't worry. So now what we're going to do in what is well in Corel, what you do would do is go drag it that up to the channel there, up to the um, rest of the videos there and just drag it up there and that will save your video settings so we drag up there that's basically Corel's retarded way of copying and pasting so we're gonna put that there and we'll put it into the next channel next video is right over top so then we just drag it across to about there now it doesn't have to be perfect you can tweak and edit but for the this is mainly a rush job I'm doing right now just to show you guys how to do it essentially you can fine-tune it as much as you want later on but really it doesn't really matter so now that we've done that that's really all there is to it so for this step at least for the editing program now we're gonna go and we are going to make a video file out of this so just click create video file and but since there's no nothing in the main track use first video clip option is available I'd recommend this option down here NTSC DVD settings very very important set your project to be in 16 by 9 widescreen mode. That's very important. Otherwise, your video is going to come out really, really, really small. So then, here we go. We just save the video. And then, of course, here comes the fun part of waiting for it to save. And we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, and it's done. So now that that's done, thanks to the power of video editing, we're going to go over to YouTube now. Here's my channel in all its glory and we're gonna click upload well that's my other main channel DSD 117 now this video then go to the video file upload page go to upload video and then of course select the file that you just made and you're probably wondering wait it's not in 3d yet this is just retarded to distorted videos don't worry guys I didn't fall fail you yet so then we're just gonna go here and notice it started to upload you're freaking out because your video isn't in 3d so we make a title we make a description and you write your normal tags here and then this parts important you type yt 3d colon enable equals true in your tags very important step there just type it exactly like that as it came up on screen select category we're gonna set the privacy option to privatize because I don't want other people seeing this right now so and it would be kind of off topic for my channel so then we're gonna wait for that to finish up and da -da 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 -da, hey it's finished now we're gonna go over here and over to the video which I opened in another tab while you guys weren't looking and notice it's in 3d pretty much but you need glasses for this the red and blue glasses now sorry if it's all laggy because um, what's going on right now is I'm capturing part two while part, the part one of this video is saving and it made the whole thing laggy so you can't really see the video playing at all. But point is the video is there and it's not really playing because you can see Corel's down there saving. I'm video capturing at the same time. It's a whole big mess. But point is not only do you have that option there, you have all these options to create 3D. You have red and blue glasses, green and blue glasses amber blue glasses, green magenta glasses, parallel I really don't 
know how parallel is supposed to help. I mean, all it does is this weird thing. I don't know how, what that's supposed to do. But yeah, you basically have all these options. Now, to do it without 3D, you need to be able to cross your eyes. So switch it to cross-eyed and cross your eyes while you're watching it, and it will be 3D. Now, not everyone will be able to do this, unfortunately. Like, I don't know how to cross my eyes that well, but a lot of people can. So if you can do it and hold it, then apparently a lot of people have told me you get a really cool experience out of it. So then you have all these other styles here. Or, of course, if you want to see it in normal 2D, you can go to click left image only or right image only, and then you've got your 2D image back as it was. Notice without any distortion. And that is essentially how to put your videos in 3D on YouTube. Until next time, guys, I'm Matt Goldsman from Gamerscast and PC Advice, and I'll catch you next time.